All right, what's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to be ranking all 22 ultimate abilities in Apex Legends. Remember, this is just my opinion, so don't kill me in the comments. And make sure to stay till the end because number one might surprise you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Enough of me wasting your time. Coming in at number 22, we've got Mirage. Now, this comes in last place because, well, it's not very good. It doesn't really help out your team much. There's a lot of counters to it. And if you're going up against a good player, they'll be able to easily track which one you are. And there's just so many good ultimate abilities in this game that it just makes Mirage's ultimate ultimate look bad. Coming in at number 21, we've got Gibraltar. Now, Gibraltar's ultimate can be good for repositioning a team or trying to get a team to back off of you, but the airstrike's radius is really small, and nobody really plays Gibraltar for his ultimate. Coming in at number 20, we've got Lifeline. Now, Lifeline's care package can be really helpful. It's usually got armor and really good weapon attachments. But if you're a good team and you're getting a lot of kills in-game, you're naturally just gonna find that stuff, and in that case, Lifeline's care package becomes kind of useless. The only thing it could be used for is maybe an armor swap or some cover. Coming in at number 19, we've got Horizon. Now, this might be a bit of a hot take but as many of you know in season 14 horizons black hole got hella nerfed her black hole now takes friendly fire and it gets hurt more with explosives so if one of your teammates were to throw a grenade in your black hole well then you're kind of screwed so for that, Horizon's Black Hole will be at number 19. Coming in at number 18, we've got Newcastle. Now, his ultimate can be good for repositioning onto a building and getting high ground, and plus it gives you some cover. But your teammates don't come with you, so you'll have to wait for your teammates to get to that position. And in my opinion, his cover isn't all that. I would much rather have Rampart's Walls. And I'm sure 99% of Newcastle players aren't playing for his ultimate, they're playing for his passive. Coming in at number 17, we've got Revenant. Now, personally, I don't really like Revenant's totem. The totem's actually really glitchy, and in my opinion, it can be kind of hard to use. You also want to make sure your teammates know how to use it. You could be mid fight and your teammate gets sent back to the totem spraying and praying and they destroy that shit destroying you in the process coming in at number 16 we've got octane now i actually kind of like octane's ultimate you could use it for getting out of a situation or getting yourself into a good position like high ground but that's about it there's not very much to it so that's why it sits at number 16 coming at number 15 we've got pathfinder again it's just another repositioning ability but unlike octane's jump pad you could go a lot farther you could also use it for some really cool movement techniques coming in at number 14 we've got seer now seer's ultimate is Pretty, pretty good. It's a super handy ability for your team, and it's just basically a Bloodhound scan, but for a longer duration. Now, obviously, Seer's tactical is a lot better, but his ultimate can get the job done. The only downside, though, is his ultimate can be broken, which can just kind of waste the whole ability. Coming in at number 13, we've got Caustic. Now, in my eyes, Caustic is the master of indoors. If you're in a building in Fragment and you're going up against a Caustic, let's just say that's going to be a very tough fight for you. If you're in a small little building and he pops his ultimate, well, you most likely lost the fight. Then again, that doesn't really happen very often. So his ultimate can be very situational but in the right situation it could be very good coming in at number 12 we've got bangalore now this one's similar to gibraltar's ultimate but it has a lot of a bigger radius than gibraltar's although bangalore's airstrike can deal some damage that's not really what you should be using it for you should be using it to make a team get out of their current position making them have to reposition so in my opinion this is just an upgraded gibby all coming in at number 11 we've got bloodhound now i really like bloodhound's ultimate i like to use bloodhound's ultimate in every fight that i get into so basically in every fight i'm in i'm faster and i have better vision than my enemy only downside to this ultimate is it's quite selfish and doesn't really help out the team. All right, top 10. Here we go. Coming in at number 10, we've got Fuse. Now, when used right, Fuse's ultimate is super good. You can literally encase a team into a certain area. Not to mention that it also scans the players inside the fire. You can also zoom in really far with Fuse's ultimate, helping you scope out certain areas. You can actually use this on streamer building in Fragment to scan the whole building. Now, in certain situations, there's one problem. There's a counter to this. You could just jump over it. Coming in at number 9, we've got Watson. Now, Watson's high on this list because her ultimate can do two things. It regenerates shield over time, and it sucks up any grenades that are thrown towards you. This can be really good for holding a certain area. What also puts this up high on the list is that Watson's passive buffs ultimate accelerants. So if you have enough of those, you'll basically have the ultimate for the whole game. Coming in at number eight, we've got Crypto. Now, Crypto's EMP is actually really, really good. Not only does it deal a decent amount of damage to shields, but it also levels up your Evo, and it deactivates some abilities like Rampart's Walls or Gibraltar's Bubble. It also stuns the player for like a good three seconds. Crypto's ultimate is definitely super underrated. Coming in at number seven, we've got Wraith. Now, obviously, there's a lot of uh, questionable Wraith players out there, but when played right, Wraith's ultimate can be very, very good. It can be good for having an escape route just in case you need it, or you can try and hold two positions at once. You can also block doors with it, and overall, it's just a super versatile ability. Coming in at number six, we've got Vantage. Now, if any of you somehow still haven't played with Vantage's sniper, let me tell you, it is very easy to hit shots with. Her ultimate's also very good because it allows you to not have to carry a long-range weapon. If you wanted to, you could hold an R99 and a Peacekeeper and still cover all ranges. Her ultimate's also a super good way to get a quick knock and to allow your team to start pushing. 
Speaking of pushing, at number 5, we've got Mad Maggie. Mad Maggie's gotta be the most aggressive player in Apex. Her ultimate is super good when pushing a team, because not only does it make you fast, but it makes your teammates fast. You can also disrupt somebody if you hit them with the Wrecking Ball. Maggie's ultimate also recently just got a buff where it can destroy Gibby's bubble, which is just huge. Maggie has definitely upgraded in this season, and you should probably give her a shot. Coming in at number 4, we've got Loba. Loba's shop is so good, whether it's the start of the game, the middle of the game, or the end of the game. You're never low on ammo, you're never low on meds, you're never low on- you're, you're never low on anything. Loba's shop also allows you to get more kills. Instead of spending the whole entire first part of the game looting, with Loba's shop you can get into action a lot quicker, which is why it sits so high on the list. Coming in at number 3, we've got Ash. Now Ash's ultimate has to be the fastest repositioning ability in the game. Whether you're pushing somebody, you can do that in one second. Whether you're trying to get away from somebody, you can do that in one second. Your teammates can also enter the portal, which allows your team to stick together a lot better. Coming in at number 2, we've got Val. Valkyrie. When I said Ash's ability was the best repositioning ability in the game, I lied. Valkyrie's ultimate is the best repositioning ability in the game. Despite all the recent nerfs Valkyrie has just gotten, her ultimate is still good. You can literally get out of situations in the blink of an eye. It also allows you to reposition onto high ground. And not to mention, you can bring your teammates with you too. Plus, when you're in midair, Valkyrie scans everybody that she sees, allowing you to determine which is the best spot to position in. Finally, coming in at number one, we've got Rampart. Rampart's minigun is just fucking insane. No matter if it's up close, mid-range, or long range, it will beam your enemy. I mean, like, just take a look at this clip. Yeah, it's a bit absurd. So overall, her ultimate has got to be the best weapon in this game. So there you have it. There's my list of all the ultimate abilities ranked in Apex Legends. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with anything. Remember, this is just an opinion-based video, so there's no wrong answers. Well, there's no wrong answers for the most part. So go away in the comments and let me know what you change. Check out my other videos that I made on my channel, and follow for more videos just like this one.